Amanat. My name is Alan Salazar. Today I want to share some family stories. I want to start with this picture right here. It's one of my favorite pictures. It's of my Uncle Bob, my uh, Uncle Dave, my dad, uh, my Aunt Jeannie, and my Aunt Beverly. Uh, taken in the late 1990s, around 99, uh, 2000. Uh, and I want to talk about them in just a moment. Uh, one, I wish we were all gathered at, at Rancho Cumulos and I was sharing these stories uh, 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 underneath the trees there, uh, but we'll have to do with this today. Uh, when I think about uh, my early childhood, uh, I think about my, my aunts and my uncles, uh, my cousins, my grandmother and grandfather. Um, and when I was two years old, we left San Fernando, California, and we moved to Hanford, where my mom is from. Uh, my mom uh, uh, is mostly Portuguese and English, uh, a few other Scandinavian uh, ancestors in there. Uh, and I remember something very vividly that happened when I was about 10, around 10 years old. Uh, my father uh, was adamant and raised us as Indians to be proud of our native heritage. Uh, and he taught me, my sister, and uh, my brother all, all how to hunt in a good way, how to hunt the way our ancestor hunt, hunted, uh, which basically meant uh, we, we learned how to use a, a, a rifle, a 22 rifle, at a very early age. And we learned to only hunt what we were going to eat. So not just to shoot birds, just for shooting birds, not just to shoot squirrels, for, to shoot squirrels. So mostly what I hunted as a young boy from age nine, 10, 11, was rabbit, rabbits. I would go hunting for jackrabbits and cottontails. And when I was 10 years old, my dad bought me a hunting knife for Christmas. And I remember my mom's side of the family the non-native side of the family, thought my dad was a little crazy uh, to give such a young boy uh, a knife for Christmas. But my dad taught me how to use it, uh, uh, how to use it safely, uh, how to sharpen it, uh, how to skin and gut an animal. So when I was 10 years old, I knew how, how to hunt rabbits, how to skin them, how to gut them, and prepare them to eat. And looking back on that, when I got older, I realized what my father was doing was something that Native peoples have done for thousands and thousands of years. That when young boys and young girls uh, become at that age of 10, 11, 12, they're starting to go from being a child to becoming an adult and they want to teach them skills that will help them to survive. And that's what my father did. And one thing that I remember vividly, I wish I had a picture of a 1948 Dodge, uh, but when, when we lived in Hanford, many of our trips when I was a little boy, a young boy, four, five, six, seven, was in that 1948 Dodge. Uh, it was a four door, the way I describe it is if you took a Volkswagen bug and put it on steroids and made it bigger, that was a 1948 Dodge. And when I was real little, four or five years old, the back seat of the back Dodge had a small area about that wide and as wide as long as the back seat. And many times when I was a little boy, I would get a blanket and crawl back up in that little space and that's where I would sleep on the way from Hanford to San Fernando, from San Fernando back uh, to, to Hanford. And those of you that know me know that my mother and father got married very young. They were teenagers. Because of that and because my father was a, a wild Indian, a brown colored man, many of my mother's family didn't like him. And I knew which ones liked him and which ones didn't like him. And they never told me. So when we would go to San Fernando to visit my grandmother, Vera Salazar, 
and uh, my my uh, aunts and uncles, like my uncle Bob, my uncle Dave, my aunt Jeannie, uh, my aunt Beverly, my aunt Vivian, who passed away but way too young, uh, uh, the Cooks, uh, Ben Cook, Bob Cook, uh, cousins, uh, the Garcias. Uh, it, it was something that I always looked forward to, uh, and. I, I realized when I got older that I was blessed that I had many teachers. My Uncle Bob uh, uh, was uh, 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 probably the best family man uh, here in my Aunt Gloria, who I, who I love dearly. Uh, we're married for over 50 years, and my, my Uncle Bob was, was the, uh, the stable one of the, the, the family. Uh, uh, all his boys played baseball and were tremendous baseball players. Little Bob, Kenny, and, and Jeff, um, uh, Marlene and Patty were just wonderful young women. And, and I was always proud of my Uncle, Uncle Bob and I used him uh, uh, as an example to try and be a good dad like my Uncle Bob. My Uncle Dave was, was uh, uh, the youngest brother uh, of my father's and was that typical younger brother, uh, was funny, always cracking jokes. Uh, uh, was a little bit of a womanizer, uh, was a tremendous dancer and, and a sharp dresser. Uh, my, aunt, my Aunt Jeannie uh, was, was a strong, proud woman who, who, who was proud of her boys, uh, uh, Ron and Don and, and, and Joe, uh, and, and always made sure that, that they were well behaved, uh, which we made fun of because uh, we were wild Indians. But I always loved and respected that about my, my Aunt Jeannie. Her husband, my Uncle Dave, was the most quietest, soft-spoken man, the most patient man I have ever met in my life. When I look back on those times that I need to be you know, quiet and patient, which is difficult for me sometimes, I think of my Uncle Dave Galbraith, just a wonderful, wonderful man. And my Aunt Beverly uh, has become the family historian. Uh, and... Uh, we're not that far in age. My Aunt Beverly is the baby of the family. So uh, uh, um, we're, we're pretty close in age. So my, my Aunt Beverly and I and all my Uncle Jim and all my cousins, Kathy and Butch and, and Randy and Cheryl and, and Lisa and uh, Jamie. Jamie's gonna kill me for that. Um, uh, I, I, I've grown up with them, you know, going on, on camping trips and, and things like that. So I just remember how long the trip was from Hanford to San Fernando. And those last few miles as you drop down out of the mountains into Castaic uh, and then into uh, Newhall and San Fernando. When we drop, started dropping down into Castaic, I would always feel like I was coming home. That that was my home, even though at that time we were living in Hanford. And I loved living in Hanford out in the country, riding horses and growing up out in the country, hunting rabbits. But my Tataviam, my Fernandinho family, uh, has always been very important to me. And I will close with, I was born in San Fernando. I was born in my tribal territory. I will die in my tribal territory. Bless everyone. I hope to see all of you soon. Uh, don't be afraid. To, to, to give a gift to a young child that other people will think is not a good, a good gift. As tribal people, we do things a little bit differently sometimes. But like I said, I was taught how to use these safely. How, they're not a toy, they're a tool. So thank you, uh, hope to see you all soon.